So, this will probably be my last video for the evening. Um, I just don't want to have uh, any more, like, I, I just want a win-win situation, you know? I'm, um, I like to have agreements with people that are friendly and amicable, but you, I think the hardest thing about working as a musician is, um, the challenges of the business and the place. And I don't like getting pushed around and pushed out of the way. You know, we're all struggling to make it. And, um, you know, uh, I think probably the best experience or venue that I've had is probably Saturday Market. They pay you right on the spot. You get a meal. And you get to go up on stage. And they got it organized. And that's the best situation. Um, the only thing with that is that there's a ton of musicians that are vying for positions. So the worst experiences I've had have been these little restaurants or little places where other musicians in the neighborhood then come in and they bully you out of the way. And the usually the manager just allows it to happen. And that's really not fun. Um, and it's not like I have a ton of people going to bat for me watching my back because I don't. And I have to watch my own back. And I'm usually pretty good getting along with people but when the situation gets dirty it gets dirty and usually I have to walk away you know and uh, I don't perhaps there's something inside of me that says okay bully me or hit me or or do something but you know I'm to me I know that everybody is, you know, a lot of people are struggling. They need the money. But how much are you willing to take for the check? I mean, if you're getting battered or you're getting played repeatedly, that's abuse. That's not fun, you know. And I know a lot of people take it. And I might take it a few times, but... I'm not in the position to take it. It's not healthy, you know. When everything is going great and then all of a sudden, you know, when somebody is talking to all the other vendors but they're not talking to you and you're wondering, what the hell did I do, you know? And then you go up and you say, hey, what's going on? And they, they all of a sudden say, well, you're being too pushy or you're harassing me. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I don't know, I'm sitting there scratching my head. I'm thinking, uh, I don't think so. You know, if you want to perceive it that way, that's your business. But I don't think so, you know. Um, and so I'm sitting here thinking, okay, let's process this. Because I'm always looking at feedback. And I'm always looking at, like, what can I do to make improvements? You know, I'm a pretty pretty honest person, but when people go below the belt with me, uh, it doesn't really sit too well, you know, so, um, I think, you know, after talking to a couple other people that play music, you know, they're like, well, you know, don't take it personal, there's a million other places to play here in Eugene, um, but I, if somebody doesn't like me, and they don't want to give me support or respect, that's fine. I don't, I don't have to, I don't have to take that, you know, um, I know who I am inside and I always pray before I go out the door that I will attract a good situation. And I know in most of the cases, it's not me. Um, they're just kind of a lot, of, some of those people, 
they can be unhappy and really negative and you just want to as being a musician you know you want to hover lightly you know around tiptoe you know not get you're there to play you're there to perform make people feel good and then you go home you know and you know it's um I guess I have an undying desire to be part of a, the group, you know, or belong. You know, it's a human, it's a basic human function. And so that's probably where I run into problems. And it's, you know, we're bred that way, actually, you know. So, but I, I it's kind of a, 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 a tightrope situation, you know, so... Either they're going to like you and you're going to be able to screw up and they're still going to like you or they're going to be shaky from the beginning and if you mess up, they're just going to say bye. You're not really part of their clique. You're not part of their group. And, you know, and so hopefully um, you go along and you make better experience friends or better have a little bit better experiences so um, anyway uh, it's all it's all it's all good um, I got a little bit hurt it, it hurt me financially um, you know and uh, a little bit and I am looking forward to a little bit better uh, experiences and um, you know, I'm not that desperate. I mean, as in, as playing music, I love to play, you know, and, but if someone has an issue with me and little weird stuff starts going on, like, you know, they don't submit an invoice so you get your check, you know, and it screws you up and your books up, then, you know, you just have to, I've cut my losses. Um, you know, this is serious work, too. And a lot of people don't respect uh, people who play music or they take them for granted and everything like that. But it's, it, it's serious, it's serious job, you know, and it's not easy at times getting up and playing you know especially if you're tired or you're not feeling good or if it's in your only income and you got to keep hustling along those connect those referrals mean everything to you and if if one person has an attitude or issue with you and they want to try to spread bad things about somebody you know it's that's not cool at all so um you know Anyway, I think that's enough for tonight, and, uh, you know, I, I'm looking forward to putting out my, my next CD. I hope I am starting to put more songs together with lyrics in them, and um, I'm really looking forward to that. And as I'm getting deeper into this, believe me, it's, you know... It can get a little scary out there because you don't know what's happening, who's going to do what. And, you know, at some point, when do you learn how to fold, you know? And if you don't, you know, it could end up really nasty. Um, you know, you could end up losing everything. So uh, I try to play it somewhat cautious, you know? So anyway, um, just few tipsters and um, I hope I uh, hope you guys are like doing all right hanging in there you know your health is number one you know so you got to stay strong and at some point you feel depleted by other people's energies and you got to pull back and so, and I've, I've learned that, you know, working as a psychic too, 
that I have to put boundaries up around me. So, you know, um, I got to take the time out a lot of times to kind of retract and recoup. Um, that's why I, th I didn't even think I was going to even be doing any really live performances or anything like that, but I am a little bit. And once I get playing, I'm fine, you know. So uh, I'm hoping to do some a little bit bigger things, you know, rebuilding. I'm rebuilding right now my confidence, you know, uh, and trying to keep it real. So, all right, well, uh, bye for now.